All right, so welcome to the Git Gear tutorial. Um, we're going to do basically step by step instructions um, of how to get started using Git and uh, how to use Garrett. Um, first thing we're going to do is set up Git on the machine, you know, configure Git to work with our Garrett repo, um, and then install the Git review tool that we use to push our, push our patch sets into Garrett. And then we'll walk through changing some code, submitting a patch, and what the basic media wiki code review process is. So, does everyone have the Git tutorial open? Does anyone not have it? Can you see the web address on the screen? Yeah, and it's also linked to off the main hackathon page if you guys want to look there. <laughs> So does it, did everyone get set up with a Labs account? So did everyone actually log into Garrett? Does anyone, does anyone that can't log into Garrett? Can everyone raise their hands now just so I can make sure you're listening? Oh, uh, see, he's not listening. All right. Um, does everyone actually have Git installed? Or does anyone not have Git installed? You do not have it installed? To ask both questions, it's kind of confusion. All right, so what is Git? Git's a distributed version control system, or DV, yeah. DVCS. It's written in C, and it was originally developed by uh, Linus Torvald, the creator of the Linux kernel. And he did it to manage the, he created it to manage the source code for the Linux kernel and make it easier to accept patch sets from you know, a great number of people. So, in the past couple of years, it's really taken off as a very robust and well-supported uh, code repository. Hold on, I'm going to try to move this. This is awkward. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. So, one of the really cool things about Git is it's distributed. So, there's no central copy of the repository like with Subversion. I guess I should move this around. Um, so Subversion, Wikimedia's servers hosted the repository, and the users would commit their changes to that one central uh, repo, where in contrast, Git, uh, once you've cloned the repo, you have a fully functioning copy of the source code of all the branches and tags released, like all there locally. You can make all of your changes, you can push them remotely, you can just not push them remotely, hang on to them, you can share them with other people, uh, and you just have a full copy of the repo, you know, there on your machine. And the nice thing about Git also is it's, it's free and open source. Um, you know, it can handle everything from a small to a very large project, and it's really fast and, and efficient. And it's pretty easy to learn with a very small footprint uh, and lightning fast performance. So, like, the people that were creating the Linux kernel like performance, and so that you see that in this tool as well. And it really outclasses other tools, other source uh, code management tools like Subversion, CVS, Preforce, Clearcase. Um, one of the nicest things, like the cheap local branching, it's really easy to make a, a feature branch work on, on your code, merge that you know, back into your master. And it has a, a convenient staging area and multiple, supports multiple workflows. So, uh, next we'll talk about Garrett. So, you know, Garrett's a free web-based collaborative code review tool that integrates well with Git. It was originally developed um, at Google by Sean Pierce, and he's the co-author of, uh, of Git and the founder of JGit. Um, and it was originally developed for the de development of the Android project. And it still sees pretty active development today. Um, and it started from just a set of patches to right, so, I don't know how to pronounce it right, Redville. It became a fork that involved a full-blown project because they wouldn't accept the patches that they were making back into that project. So it ended up being rewritten. Uh, <laughs> it ended up being rewritten in Java instead of the original Python that it was before. So uh, next we'll talk about why did uh, why Wikimedia moved from Subversion to Git. 
if any of you have been longtime media wiki people, you know we used to use subversion. The, the Git conversion only happened fairly recently. So there's really three major reasons uh, that we moved. First was to encourage participation, since Git is a distributed Git is distributed, allows people to contribute with a left, much lower barrier to entry. So anyone will be able to clone the re repository and make their own changes and keep track of them. And if you get an account, you know, in care, which all of you should have now, uh, you'll be able to push your changes, you know, out wider uh, for the rest of the community to review. Uh, another reason that we did it was to fix our technical process. So Subversion was tech has technical flaws that <coughs> Excuse me. They make it uh, life difficult for developers. Notably, the implementation of branching is not really easy to use at all. It makes it hard to use feature branches. And since our community is uh, very distributed, with many parallel efforts, and needs to integrate many different feature feature efforts, we like to use the feature branching more. And it's nice to have that isolation model. People can work in parallel. You don't have to worry about you know colliding with other people's changes. And then the Git branches are really easy to work with and merge between you know, other branches back to master, things like that. And it makes things easier for our development community. And other large projects are using, uh, using Git efficiently, like Drupal, Postgres, and they have the same kind of switch from subversion to Git that we've done. So we were able to kind of look at what they've done you know, and learn from their experiences and not make the, the same mistakes. And then, Then the last reason, you know, not necessarily a final reason, is to get in, to get improvements to users faster. So with the better branching, more granular code review workflow, um, it will suit our needs a lot better. Plus, ongoing improvements to our automated testing infrastructure, we won't have to wait months before deploying already written features and bug fixes, uh, you know, out to the sites. Like right now, I think we've already seen. I think Rabla can speak to this. If, where is he? Uh, way back there. I mean, since we switched to Git and Garrett, things have been going out a little quicker than they were in the past, correct? Maybe, yeah, like a lot quicker. We've been able to deploy a weeks. Can everyone hear it okay? No. Okay. Can anyone hear it? So, does anyone, everyone know who this guy is? Yeah, so um, uh, prior to deploying uh, Git and uh, uh, Carrot, we were, it, it took us months, uh, um, often uh, like twelve months. But you know, we try to try to deploy it like every six months or so. And with uh, uh, the new workflow that we have, we're able to deploy every couple weeks, and we might even go faster. Yeah, and it's only going to get faster. Like we'll only be able to get you know code out quicker and quicker over time. And one of the nice things like with the the core of MediaWiki software being in Git, we can have continuous integration tied in with Garrett in our code review process. So when you make a commit that's going to affect files in core, you can see that the Jenkins tool has run, it's a lint checking on the PHP, it makes sure that the build builds and passes all that build criteria. So you can get pretty instantaneous feedback of, hey, are my changes sane? You know, did I break something? Can I move forward? That sort of thing. So, a couple of quotes from the community regarding this. Um, so, one of the quotes, I just love Git, just because it allows me to commit locally and offline. I mean, the offline aspect is, is really nice. You know, before in the subversion world, since you had a central repo, the only way that you could you know, commit anything to that repo was to be online, have access to our servers, you know, all that good stuff. So, another quote from Roan. As you can create commits locally and push them to the server later. You know, great for working about Wi-Fi, which I kind of find hard to believe that Ron would ever not have Wi-Fi. Uh, you can tell it to save our work so I can do something else now in one command. It allows us to review changes before they go into trunk, you know, or master in the Git paradigm. Well, human innovation, intervention, uh, and merging things into trunk, and since Garrett automates this process. So does everyone have their Garrett account set up and like SSH keys created and uploaded to Garrett, or does anyone? I bet a lot of people don't have their SSH keys set up, but they should be able to log in to like parameters. Okay, so can anyone not log into Garrett? 
Good. Uh, does anyone not have SSH keys? Sweet. Well, I was Okay, so Windows guy will be helped. <laughs> okay, so did anyone did anyone not upload your public SSH uh, public SSH key to Gary? So everyone's got their SSH, SSH key uploaded to Gary. Everyone? You guys just give me so much feedback. You know. Man in blue pants. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was SSH as a prefix. Oh no. What? That's the key and. Uh, Marcin, can you help that guy? Yes. All right. Uh, this guy in the big yellow shirt. That's right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. So does someone have Git installed and configured? I doubt it so thoroughly. Pardon? I said I doubt it so thoroughly. Okay, I'm gonna do a little raise the hand thing so that helps me. Um, who has Git set up and configured? Okay. What do you configure? I mean, configured as far as like you can use it, it's installed, working, all right. So I'm going to kind of breeze past the setting up Git portion, since uh, most people have that set up. If you look in the tutorial page, there's links for <coughs> Mac, Mac OS X, Windows, and, and all the different kind of Linux and or popular Linux and Unix platforms. So you can see how to get that installed if you don't have it installed. But I don't think we have to go, you know, over that directly. What is the difference between the Git the Git and the Git Core package? Which packages? Git and Git Core. So the Git Core package is just basically the, the core of Git. It doesn't have all the extra uh, bits. There's some GUI things that they include. And the other, I think the other package is like a meta package that has like the Git GUI and some other things as well. OK. So we're going to move on to the configuring Git portion.